I want to talk about bonds. Most people are moving out of equities with the fear that they have and moving into the bond market. Well, interest rates are currently 2.15% on U.S. Treasuries. I've been around too long, maybe 33 years. Uh, I used to be a bond trader and we used to trade at rates like 23-24%. That was serious yields. 2.15% uh, uh, is quite low, historically low. Um, so we're coming into a period now where a lot of people find safety in U.S. Treasuries. If interest rates go back just to 7%, which is really the normal rate of interest over the last thousand years, 7%, we would drop 45% of your principal on bonds. So that means that a bond that trades today at par, earning 2.15% for 10 years, all of a sudden over the next year and a half, two years, we move to 7%, which is not unheard of. Then your bond would be worth $55 on 100. That's serious decline. That's a 45% decline on your, on your funds. And these are people that are moving into bonds that are senior citizens, that are, that are looking for safety, looking for income, but they're not going to find it. 2.15% a year is great, but you could lose 45% of your investment. That's the bond market. As an alternative to bonds, there are some high yielding stocks. I would avoid many of those because if they're high yielding, there could be some difficulty in them. But there are a few diamonds in the rough. Things like Manitoba Telephone, which has a steady earnings, pays a dividend of 5.25%. That five and a quarter percent could go up, could go down. Certainly the underlying security could go up, could go down. But if interest rates move to 7%, which I believe they will over the next few years, that would make the five and a quarter percent palatable in current levels, but also uh, much more attractive than a bond, which could fall 45%. Please give me a call. We can discuss some of the stocks that might have dividends that are attractive to you in the future and stocks that might have a little bit more downside protection because they pay that dividend.